Gather around, island lovers. It's Demi and Jasmine with your fire pit chat, your daily dose of all things Love Island. This episode is brought to you by Clear Stem Skincare. We wanted to let you guys know about the new product Clear Stem is launching, and we are so excited about it. They launched a new lip product called Lips and Cutes that hydrates the lips and cuticles, a buttery, soft, peptide lip and cuticle treatment balm. Give your lips the rich hydration they crave without worrying about clogging your pores. This product is now now available to shop. Only limited supply available, so hurry and hydrate those lips and cutes. Use the link in our episode description to visit and use code FIREPITCHAT for 15% off. Okay. Good stuff. So tonight we finally got an hour and a half episode. Yes, and we needed that. Yeah. So emotions are running high. I missed the first five minutes of the show because it was fucking lagging. But uh, did it? Did the conversation with Lana and Casey start off sweet? Like, how did she approach that? It did. Like, it started out nice. She kind of approached it like, I wanted to be honest with you about where my head's at. I still feel this pull to Ron, basically, and I want to give that a chance. And he was kind of like, okay, okay. Like, I respect that. And she was like, are you mad? I mean, he's like, no, I'm not mad at you. Like, I'm bummed, you know. Yeah, like, okay. I'm obviously, like, my feelings are hurt, but. um, Is that how the episode started? It just kind of. Yeah. Okay. She started talking to the girls and she's like, I think I'm going to pull Casey for a chat oh. and tell him how I feel tonight when they were getting ready. And then she did just that. Okay. And at first, Casey was being really magnanimous about it. He was being really nice, like, as nice as you can be. You could tell he was bummed. And it's embarrassing. You're being rejected. Also, like, it's so true, like, after ha- t- what that meme was, 12 hours when seven hours you were asleep. Totally. You gave him, that was so, you did him so dirty. So dirty. She did not give him a chance. That was, c- clearly, it was just to make Ron mad, which I we said last time, like, it was spiteful for Ron instead of meaningful for Casey. Right. But then when she leaves and says, like, oh, I'll be a good wo- wing woman, and he just, like, got there's like i'm loving the way he is carrying himself me too i think it's like yeah go off have respect for yourself yeah because she is like making and he's like no i'm not gonna be treated like that yeah you know totally and that's rude who wants to hear that if a girl said if a guy said that to a girl like oh but i'll hit i'll hook you up with any of my bros everyone would be livid like could you imagine casey had has reason to think think like this like of course lana i'm sorry you look like a clown yeah you look like a clown clown emoji insert seriously i feel bad because on last night's podcast episode i kept being like she's stupid she's stupid she's stupid but you're looking like a clown dude yeah straight up fool and he walks away super bummed and pissed like raging inside and Mm -hmm. like i know what he's feeling we all know what that feels like the rejection and just like what goes down afterward is disgusting. Yeah. And I would, the gut punch that I felt. Totally. Oh my God. And Cause he was genuine. He was genuinely happy to spend one night. He got one night with her and you're like, ew, no, like f- you're so, I, are you kidding me? And tell me in those less than 24 hours that you guys got to know each other any further than you had before. Exactly. So Casey should take that as this has nothing to do with me and everything to do with her and her problems. And I'm not going to take it personally. And I think he is feeling like that because I think at the end end of the day, he's like, okay, whatever her loss. Like, I'm not so stressed on it. But it was disrespectful to Casey. And did you notice all of the guys had Casey's back? Totally. Like, what I'm really okay with is the fact that everybody does like Casey more than Ron. Yeah. And everybody in the public is really feeling this like we all have a heartbreak a heartache you know what I mean like everybody is feeling that feeling because we've all been there so I'm really happy with Mm -hmm. that because he is in the most amazing position he could ever be in he's on the right side of history I think (laughs) (laughs) and so then Jordan uh, who knows what Jordan's doing right now? Like, mm. he's pining for Danielle. He's playing the game. She's not into it. Yeah. I don't know. Is she not? You know who she's she, into? Right. Ron. Exactly. <laughs> like, let's all say that. Yeah. And then Tom and Sammy. I'm really... The way, like, Tom is redemption. Like, mm. not all heroes mm. wear capes. Flopped on Tom in a good way. Totally. Like, 
See, I'm telling you, like, I think deep down, I, he's genuine. Yeah, no, that's I what I think, like about Tom. You know he's what I think? true to himself. He's a boy who never was taught how to express his emotions. Yeah, no, he, I mean, again, his accent is so strong. It's very hard for me to understand him. And I can't use the subtitles because they pop up in the middle of my screen. So it, like, blocks all the outfits and stuff like that. That's weird. Yeah, isn't that? Yeah. So I can't understand anything Tom says. Yeah, me neither. I mean, rarely are words being spoken, but it's all in the eyes. And I like his vibe, and I like him with Sammy, and I like that he has, like, his boys' backs and stuff. I like Tom. Yeah, me too. Me too. I'm like loving what he's doing. I'm loving what he's saying. And they have a kiss. They're she's stunning. Stunning. Holy shit. They mm-hmm. look really cute together. Like she's actually ridiculously pretty. No, she's gorgeous. Wow. And Tom is so, so hot. hot. <laughs> so hot. I posted a meme on my on the Twitter with like <gasps> the <laughs> the back <laughs> when Tom came out for the- for his dance them thighs the way a yeah, man's the, it's thighs, the thighs can just send me over an edge no they his thighs are like nutcrackers they're and, oh my god i can't and so okay then then lana goes for a chat with ron and the burning hatred i have for ron yeah <sighs> it's it's not a surprise we've already we've expressed that but you know the speech was cute for two seconds it was really genuine cl- cute because I do feel like he was happy. I do. I am shade. Listen, uh, disclaimer. Mm-hmm. I fucking hate Ron. Okay. But, and th- there was a brief moment where I was like, oh my God, like that is sweet. Like he did smile. She did smile. I truly believe she is happy. Yeah. She's happy. Totally. Who knows what Ron is going to do? He's unpredictable, dude. Yeah, he is. He's unpredictable. That's what the uneasy feeling is. We have no idea what he's going to do mm-hmm. next. Well, most we all know what he's going to do next. Yeah. And so then they start kissing, which was so disgusting. So rude. Like, the least you can do is be like, I just ended things with Casey. I'm going to go for you, but hold off until the next day to start kissing. Even Danielle said that. It's been 30 seconds. Even Danielle said, wait, like, wait till tomorrow. It was so. You're you're pathetic running back to Ron. Oh, I ended it. I ended it. I'm free. I'm free. You won. You won, Ron. Mm -hmm. Why did you just let Ron sweat a little? Right. And be like, I ended things with Casey doesn't mean you're out of the doghouse. Like, give him something. Exactly. You start making out with him. And then later on, she tells Casey, like, I didn't know you were there. No, no, no. We'll get to that. That's even worse. No, no, no. We will get to that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was like really, really, really disgusting. And so then they're cuddling. And then it pans to Will and Jesse get go to the hideaway. Mm -hmm. And at first, like, I feel like Jesse did give a look like, oh shit like i actually gotta like fall through on my shit now did you get that vibe yeah i kind of got that she was i don't know if it's the the voices in my head just being like jesse's playing a game jesse's playing a game but now i'm always looking to jesse's reactions so true when it comes to well and i'm like are you for real or are you not you know i'm just like i've got my eye on jesse so bad dude now so true but then they were they're like very compatible like he's, very he's so eccentric and fucking weird he, and fucking just what's it called not he's feminine but what's the word for it oh metrosexual yes but there's another word that someone flamboyant uses yes yeah he's very flamboyant yes and you said it perfectly last night he's bonkers like he's psychotic <laughs> no he's you crazy. said you're, he's a maniac <laughs> No, I. you said he's mad bongers. I'm like, no, he's psychotic. Oh, yeah. But he a maniac is even a better word for it. Like, he's an evil genius, you know? Like, he's. I think he's ahead of his time. <laughs> yeah, everyone's <laughs> like, he's literally the best Love Island contestant we've ever even seen. Even Clark Schneider's like, I love that guy. I'm like, I know. Who cannot like Will? But, like, them going away to the hideaway and him just, like, da- she's getting changed in her laundry and he's looking at himself in the mirror, like, dancing with his collar no he literally has like a nipple cover on tassels 
bondage and even the guys are like will's probably gonna have to tie himself up <laughs> and and then she walks out and she's like what are you doing he's like i'm on my hands and knees begging for you i'm like oh my god no the way that that would just give me such an ick but like there's one for everyone oh, and- no yeah i couldn't deal with that but i i appreciate the girls who can like it yeah. looks like a lot of fun like i feel like you guys have got a world ahead no, of you like, like I'm- what a life that must be clearly they got busy in the i mean and she was like what a workout like you know that guy is going one Sorry. game seven on you like in also, the bedroom from the boys competition it looks like he's working with uh oh i didn't pocket do you know that i had to like look away during those things oh i felt like his was sizable i couldn't no we'll get to that because there was this song that was playing that was like of course will's coming out to this fucking song tom oh. comes out to the weekend <laughs> will comes out to ding, 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like his shit is bouncing everywhere i'm like this is overstimulating oh yeah that's true yeah 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 i didn't think about that <laughs> and so <laughs> i think i think after the hideaway that they did connect solidify there yeah thing. like i think she is innocent i think she's not innocent but like naive and sweet and just yeah. like i want to believe that so i'm going to continue <laughs> to believe that exactly we'll just only time will tell and so then casey is just sitting there and i think he was le- coming out and then tom was pulling in the kitchen was like yo like come here yes. yeah like tom- casey oh, yeah. had walked out of the villa probably he went to the toilet or something to have a good cry yeah which i would to respect yeah and then um again i appreciate tom being like just come here and they like made him sit facing away from it like Mm -hmm. boys having boys backs i love that and i love when the girls have the girls backs Mm -hmm. and all the boys were on casey's side like kai was kai sitting there yeah kai Kai said don't look dude yeah yeah see and kai's supposed to be ron's guy so so Kai doesn't like him. No one likes Ron. No one. No one fucking likes Ron. Like, and so, oh my God, he just turns around and. Yeah. He didn't even see them. I don't th- think he saw them kiss. He just saw them cuddling, not kissing. But he did say kissing. So he must have known that he they were kissing. Yeah. Maybe someone told him. Right. That moment. Oh my God. Like, oh ron you smug prick and he even knew that he's like now he's gonna be walking around like even more smug exactly oh my god the way that i just like could not i could not stand lana at that moment no she that was doing him really dirty lana and if a guy did that to lana could you imagine and it'd be carnage game over it would just be like her crying we're all feeling bad for her and now you're doing that to someone else and you know what it feels like because you've been on the other side and you're still gonna do it that way it's just like not nice it was so horrible to watch like it was really horrible my face got like heated like you know when your face yeah that's how enraged you are totally so I was just feeling with him and then it flashes. It goes from Casey upset to Will in the hideaway. Like it keeps flashing and I'm right. just like, what emotion do you want me to feel? Yeah. Like such a juxtaposition. Like they <laughs> really were bringing you through some stuff. It was, a, it's an emotional roller coaster, And Sammy and Olivia have squashed this imaginary fight. Yeah, but then Olivia, like, the thing about Olivia is that she'll go in the hut and she'll be like, well, she said sorry. I hope she was sorry. But, yeah, we squash it. I'm like, no, you're throwing shade. Exactly. You're saying it's squash and you're still throwing shade. Like, yes. she's just here to throw shade at girls. Yes. And my eyes are open to that now. And she's like, I just, it's just like talking, you know. It's I don't like that because it's talking. It's like, but the whole issue is, is that you're the one that said something by and Totally. She's <laughs> like, I just hate when girls just, like, talk. I'm like, Olivia, that's literally all you do is talk to the girls behind other girls backs and then circle it back to that girl you were talking about like you're talking to all the girls that's why we weren't here talking because you said the comment and i go went and told tanielle yeah i thought that was it's just so retarded yeah casey grabs lana then because i I guess he like took a second and he like kind of told her what's up like he was like i think that was muggy Mm -hmm. um what else did he say he was just kind of like... I really have no notes because I was so enraged. Well, he was mad and he came like in hot and he he sat her down first and he was like, I really didn't appreciate the comment where you said I'm a wing woman mm-hmm. or a wing man, whatever 
that comment was. And she's like, yeah, no, I can understand. Understand. I'm sorry. Then she goes, well, he goes like, I just think that's kind of muggy. Like you go in and you like start kissing him and hugging him right after you tell me. He's like, she's like, well, I have known him for two weeks and I've known you for five days. He's like, so what's that? What does that have to do with anything? Right. And the also, fuck, what does that have to do with anything? Also, Casey's been there for five days, question mark. So you've known him for half the time you've known Ron? That's my point. Like, you've known him for mark? half the time. Right. Like, it's not like you've had six years on the guy. Like, you have a few days of Ron being a fuckboy. Like, but it, exactly. Okay? But, it, but it also, like, that that response had nothing to do with the with the situation right we're talking about you fucking mugging me off and then going to making out with him two seconds later that has nothing to do with the fact that you've known ron for two weeks right oh you can disrespect me because you've known ron for five days longer exactly stop exactly so rude and then i guess he just gets up because the way casey acted is exactly how i would act also it was going nowhere like lana started to whine and he was like no i'm not trying to like make you the victim here so he got up and he walked away and like good totally because oh if he God. sat there longer, he'd have to be like, yeah, no, like, it's okay. Like, he like I, he would have to make her feel better, and she's the one that should be making him feel better. Totally. Totally. Like, that's how she was starting to spin it, and I'm just I'm And then just she's, like, like, in the dressing room, I feel like I did something wrong. You did. You Are did you something really me? wrong. You made a big mistake. And then the poor fucking guy goes and sits outside. And she let outside? him sleep on the day bed. She goes, girls, I'm going to sleep on the day bed. Lana, go sleep on the fucking... You know who should be sleeping on the day bed? Ron. Ron. He should have been sleeping on the day bed since... Go sleep together. Since he wasn't coupled up with go you. Go sleep together. He, exactly. Go sleep together. Every other couple, though, and this is why I think... You know how we're like, we're so... We were talking after the episode last night. We're like, we're so enraged and we haven't felt this mad and so long and like there's been couples in the past who have fucked it but like that's the thing couples who are in a couple and they want to be together will go sleep on the day bed together until they're together and you root for them true but they're not doing that like we're just not getting that real sense well, why would why would ron leave Danielle? yeah does this mean we can't spoon we saw that wrong in the same mouth sentence he goes I think, oh, she came back home. Everyone's like, you're the one that left home three times. Right. (laughs) And then later that night, he goes to sleep with her friend. No one's sleeping on the day beds. They're all sleeping in their couple beds. And Ron says to Tanyelle, does this mean we can't spoon now? And Tanyelle's like, we can always spoon. There's something there and it's weird. But the fact that Lana, to go back to it, let Casey sleep on the day beds when really like she's the one that's broken up this couple you're going back to your guy you should go sleep outside and then ron should be a gentleman and go sleep with you on the day beds and you can be a couple together in bed like you guys want exactly and i think that's just showing like what a good guy and then oh when casey was like good guys finish last and that's it no they don't casey good guys finish first with the right girl yeah and i think he meant that not him just saying that he's a good guy, meaning that Ron is the fucking dick. Ron's the asshole. Yeah. Ron's the bad guy. Like, I feel like he's meant it in that way. And you'll get yours. Don't mm-hmm. worry. Mm-hmm. But then when Ron goes, oh, you know, we'll have a talk tomorrow. Casey's like, no, nah, we, we have nothing to talk about. And you don't. No. And I hate, like, chalking it up to, like, emotions. Like, no, that was a shitty fucking thing you did. And, Mm -hmm. oh, my God, Casey, in the fucking morning when breakfast. So they wake up and Jesse and Will come from the hideaway and they give Casey a hug. It was was really sweet. And Casey then, they're all sitting at the, whatever, what do they call it? They're They're, like, on a bench yeah I talking don't know. about the night yeah and ron's like you know i'm just gonna like you know be respectful to casey and he was like well like i'll do respect that i don't yeah. find you respectful i think you you say a lot of shit and you don't back it up like yeah he literally said exactly what everyone's thinking i just love that he said that like he was like nah like i think you just say a lot and you don't do any of that yeah because 10 minutes after we talk you're you're on top of him so on top of her so like are you respectful or Mm -hmm. do your actions speak elsewhere like and then Shaq goes yeah like it could have waited then 10 more 10 minutes after that happened Mm -hmm. but it's squash now i just love casey no and i love that the guys have casey's back i love that so much i think it speaks volumes oh my god and then 
Yeah, I don't know, dude. That that whole moment, like, I just can't believe Casey slept outside after that whole night of being fucking mugged off, and then you have to go sleep outside. What a what a fucking mug. Yeah. What a f- I would feel like the biggest piece of shit. Yeah. But it does make Casey look really good, I think, to the girls that are coming in. Like, if I was coming in, I would want to go for Casey. No, Do you know what I mean? Everyone's, like, packing my bags to go to South Africa. Because you want to, A, save him, and B, like, he comes off as, like, a real dude, a genuine guy. He's cute. Like, I feel like this worked out in Casey's favor. Like, man's rejection is God's protection, and he'll see that. <laughs> is that a thing? It's insightful. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Tanya, okay, Tanya and Jesse share that they both slept with it. I slept with. The- yeah, did Tanya not say that before? I was. She said the same it on thing. the. I thought we already knew that. She said I played the whole game, or like I went all the way. Yeah, she and exactly. I thought she had thought said we that knew before. That. She was like, "Well, I told the girls we did bits." I'm like, "No, you didn't. You told them you did everything. Everything. You said it right there on the balcony. We heard it. Play the tape back. Yeah, rewind the tape. Yeah. yeah, and so I thought I, that was weird too. I know, like. We, we knew that because but the whole twitter didn't because twitter is like damn will the last one be single but the first one to sleep at the fucking <laughs> villa like um that was really funny like i'm surprised they didn't show it like thank god like I you're know. lucky you got off like yeah because Scotch they could have dirty so true because they do like show, we like, saw sometimes. shack right we saw him moving right you see the little like bunny hops <laughs> <laughs> i hate that dude i hate that i'm telling you like early seasons it used to be so much worse like there was this one season this girl was like sitting up doing it and they showed her like from the back like so you just saw with her other back people or in the hideaway with other people in the communal bedroom and no. she did it and she was like i didn't think they'd show it on tv because i was like like, she showed everything because she thought then they couldn't show it on TV, and they still did. Shut up. How crazy. Oh, my God. But ever since then, I think something really bad she happened. Okay? She got a lot. I don't know. I think, like, she got a lot of shit because they stopped showing it, like, after that season. I think that's why. That's not okay. It's called no. porn. No. Yeah. But, like, also, like, you should cover up with the comforter like a normal person but she thought like by not covering up then they couldn't show it wow but you're still in a room with like no 10 other that's people crazy yeah shit yeah like sitting up like we saw her from the back but that meant there was nothing going on in front like demi it was wild it was wild <laughs> that's crazy and so then ron and casey have the talk that obviously the producers made them have right and casey's like he just shoots him straight like i don't i I don't trust ron he says it in the hut like i think his actions speak whatever louder than words Mm -hmm. um i don't even remember how the the speech went down ron was just trying to save face like boys need to be boys and he's like yeah sure whatever like yeah like you're dead to me Mm -hmm. casey hates ron yeah that was just like bearing the hatchet for the looks of it like they they don't like each other and no they shouldn't I think Ron is so oblivious that no one likes him. Yeah, I do He thinks he's the best guy in there. He thinks he's best friends with all of them, and mm-hmm. no one likes him. He's that guy. Yep. And, oof, that guy is brutal. Um, and then I said, I bet you – oh, I was saying that I bet – once Casa Amor happens, dude, and, like, they're split up, mm-hmm. that all those – the new guys will give Lana the – the dirt yes yes that's the shit i'm living for like they'll come in and be like oh by the way like ron is playing you hard a hundred and you fuck that shit up <laughs> that's who's gonna give her it for real exactly it's, it's the, gonna be the casa guys yes totally. you're so right i know i had that epiphany and i was like oh my god that's so what's gonna happen and then movie night so yeah. then it's just gonna nail the coffin yeah. shut and then she'll have no one left you know because she's not bringing a guy back from casa she's leaving she's leaving she might as well Call up Amy and ask her how she her her Love Island experience went because that's where you're aiming. Yeah, yeah. She needs uh she needs to phone a friend. Okay, it's the heart race challenge. Oh, I love this challenge. I know it's the best one. Like the way that if I knew I was going on Love Island, I would be in a three month dance choreographer. <laughs> like I would be like on practicing like dancing with the stars totally <laughs> and i would have my shit choreographed and memorized and i 
in the middle of the night, I'd be like, like yeah, like go to six chairs. <laughs> like, like I am anticipating that the whole the whole, my whole Love Island oh my season, God. and so th- you know I was a little disappointed in this one. Yeah, it wasn't like as sexy. Yeah, but I was dying at Shaq. He was really funny. Yeah. And then Casey in the jorts and the glasses, like, oh my God, if I was there, he <laughs> would give me the ick. Like, that was not a good look. The jorts. Who yeah. put him in that? And he was like, greased up like a pig at the fair. I mean, <laughs> like, I've never seen anything <laughs> like it. What is that saying? Because, like, at the fair, you used to grease pigs up because the competition would be like, if you could catch the pigs, so they'd grease them up so they're slippery so you can't catch them like he was really greased and i wasn't mad at that but he's just like if he had different shorts on the boys got abs and pecs yeah Casey and when he pecs, was shaking dude. and his pecs were shaking that's why i, I said like, lana should just Casey. call into his pecs yep he has did. good pecs and so then i was like of course oh and then he kisses lana i am shocked. like he i did that so ron could like i would love it if she's if lana's heart rate got raised by casey it probably didn't because of his whole look right and but that was like i bet you it in his mind and so then i'm like of course tom walks out to the weekend like of course Mm -hmm. like the hottest song and the hottest guy like everyone's like i'm not mad they set him up for success yeah they gave him and he was just like the way he was staring at everyone i'm like this He was so hot. I already talked about his thighs. And then Will comes out. Oh, I, I thought I would. I thought I wrote down what the song was that Will went to, but I can't remember. It's just like. It was like country <laughs> rock, like pop. I don't know. It was, it was like a through. fake song. He was gyrating so much that yeah. he was crazy. And then Jordan comes out to like, rhythm is a dancer. Sir. I need a companion. Girl, I must be you. I love that song. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's hot, but he had no moves at all. No. Yeah. And I don't know. The guys didn't really do it for me. I don't really have anything else that I wrote down that I remember. Yeah, the guys Ron did. sucked. Like, give me, gave me an ick. I couldn't even couldn't look even at watch him. It. Kai couldn't even look at him. Yeah, I didn't watch Kai's. And then the girls. And I'm, like, dying to know i just love the the results of the heart i know that's the whole thing i like to watch like i really just don't even care about what you're doing i just like to know the end i do think like the girls outfits like i mean lana's was sexy but like olivia if i Olivia was just that's what she wears exactly first of all you're wearing more than what you usually wear yeah she was wearing a cat suit was it a cat suit or was it literally a leather leotard that like how lucky were you that you got to wear that? Yeah, I mean, snatched you right up. I mean, she like, got to wear g string. Like everyone else is in like g strings. Yeah, dude. Lana is in a g string with like a bow. So is Sammy. T- Tanyelle was also just Tan- in a, oh, um, like a bunny costume with a thong. Yeah, her ass was out. Yeah. Um. Oh, uh, Jesse's was like chaps, but it was pink. Jesse's was cute. Yeah. For Jesse. Yeah. Oh, it was assless chaps. Yeah, but it like thong and then like, right? Yeah, assless. I think they were. I don't yeah, remember you saw her seeing. Thong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then I couldn't watch Ellie. Like, oh yeah, hers was a little cringe. So was Lana's. Like, she looked hot, but Lana has like I, a dorkiness I, I couldn't to really, her. Yeah, she does. Yeah, she kind of like reminds me of like a deer, like Bambi. Oh my god! And I'm not talking about Molly May's Bambi. <laughs> right. You nailed it. <laughs> you nailed it yeah it's kind of like, like a little the, like she's just learning to walk <laughs> so true <laughs> yeah i couldn't watch that it was painful yeah okay and the guys were like lana lana i'm like what is that about lana like she's one of those girls that just has the sauce for the guys like she's a pretty girl and stuff but they're yeah. like lana was looking so special i'm like she looked cute but she did she was giving awkward you know totally so it wasn't like she wasn't maybe giving, it's because like, she was so not like that to see her in that yeah. It, it does, like, kind of, like, whoa. I bet you she did yeah. turn. I bet you Olivia gets high. And Lana. And. Tanya. Tan. Tan. 
Tanya and yeah. Danielle, I think. Well, Danielle, she was shaking like, that Ron? ass like it didn't quit. And she goes, Ron, I'm coming for you. She said like, something to Ron. And like puts her booze in his face. Like that is weird. Who the do you end. think will raise Ron's heartbeat the most? Tan Tanya. Not Lana. Not Lana. And I can't fucking wait. Mm-hmm. So the new bombshell walks in. Yeah. Poor girl. Like, she did <gasps> look really stiff walking in. Like, I was thinking the same thing. But imagine meeting uh, all agreed. those guys. In a thong. Being on camera for the, for the first time. Being in a thong with those heavy ass wings. Like, she's probably like, I my neck is like breaking. I do feel like the wings were really not yeah, working they shouldn't for have her. Given, they should have given her, like, a dark angel type of vibe. I mean, red is really as hot as you can get, I feel like. As a blonde. Yeah. Like, red is what the girl guys want to see you in. True. And I feel like it, I just feel like the wings were blocking her, but she was walking so stiff. Like, yeah. but I could, t- I bet you, you're fucking shit face nervous, dude. Mm-hmm. For sure. This is the first time you meet everybody, you have to raise people's heartbeats and do a dance, and she doesn't seem like the girl who, di- who can dance. No, right. Imagine meeting six new guys. You want to date one of them, hopefully, and you're shaking your ass in their face for the first time you meet them. Like, that is so hard. Unless you're J-Lo, like, you're going to be stiff. I exactly. I, I And I just think even from looking at her Instagram, I think she's more, like, reserved. So I think this yeah. was really out of her comfort zone. I don't really know her, but I just – you can tell that she was nervous as shit. Like, give her a few drinks then. Right, you couldn't have given her a, hello, boys, and she's sitting there, like, with her Prosecco, like, waiting for you guys to come down and say hi. Exactly. Like, you had to make her wear these heavy-ass wings and then shake her ass in your face. But when you, when she walks in, I don't think the guys even realize it wasn't one of the girls. Yeah, because they were like, woo, go! I like, know, and then, that, then they're like... Her. Yeah, and then Tom and said... And Casey's like... <laughs> Tom said, oh my god. Oh, Tom just shit himself. Yeah, it made me feel like he saw an ex. Like, he looked like he saw a ghost. Did you see that on Twitter? No. His his face, when he saw her, he was like, oh, my God. That's it looked what like- someone said. They were like, oh, my God, does Tom know her? It seemed like that. Whoa. That would be crazy if they used to date. They like to throw an ex in there. Like, they did it to Gemma. Right. I don't know. And then it I would like that, that. kind of. If that was, like, his ex. And he didn't go for her. Do you, I don't think... I feel like they would never mesh in real life. No. I don't even know this girl, but, like... If just, it's true, we would have heard. She's giving me, like, Gemma vibes. Mm-hmm. Like, that's why... It was, like, watching Gemma do that. Like, that's so... They're so reserved and, like, classy almost. Yeah. That I feel like when you put... When they're put in that position, even though Gemma looked so hot... Right. The, it, it... I feel like it was, it was just out of... Like, I think Sammy could have done that bombshell role. Yeah, exactly. It's like, if you're going to do that to a girl, they better be a dancer. Because that totally. is such a hard position to put a normal girl in. Who did that last year? Didn't someone, someone come in? Someone that killed it, though. Was it Danica? Or was it... Yeah, I think it was um, Danica. T- Antigone. But one, but either of them would have killed it. Exactly. I can't remember which one it was now, but it was someone that smashed it. I think it, it was Danica. I think it was the yeah, dancer. And she exactly. was the dancer. I think it was her exactly but i can't remember but yeah so casey's face lit up yeah casey's like finally redemption now, and she's I hot see ron's face i just need to see ron's i know face and too. i hope ron fucks it so bad but i, I mean don't know she's if he's pretty. that stupid to fuck it that fast i really hope they her and casey click me too i really hope I hope so too. He deserves it. But there's also Casa, and people are thinking that Casa is next week for really? sure. Okay, yeah. so it's got to be because we're at already at heart rate, True. which I was surprised that we were here. But it does it's make going sense so fast. Yeah, it is. But yeah, and she'll probably be able next tomorrow's episode. She'll probably have a, a date. She'll choose some a few yeah. dates, mm-hmm. and I bet you she chooses Casey, Tom, who else. Mm. we haven't even gotten her intro yet so i really don't know what to think about her no but i think she'll definitely go for casey i do think she'll go for tom because who doesn't go for tom exactly and also possibly jordan question mark i don't see it no maybe ron i would love that like i just throw a wrench in it (laughs) Lana has to learn the hard way. And that's what she's proving to all of us. She has to learn the hard way. So I hope that this yeah. is teaching her a good hard lesson in, you know. Yeah. Fuck boys. I don't feel bad anymore. 
No, that she's was a looking heart, like gut wrenching episode for Casey, but he is going to end up on top. But this is the last of it. Like he was down in the dumps this episode, and I think he's just going to be like going up and up and up from here on out. Like he just had yeah. to get through that night. And now he has no qualms. He's not going to feel bad for Lana. He's not going to go back. He's just going to, like, move forward with the hot new bombshell. Yeah. And say, see ya. And he deserves someone that doesn't put him in a love triangle. Yeah. Totally. I'm excited. So we'll see what tomorrow brings. I don't know. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you all for listening to Fire Pit Chat, your daily dose of all things Love Island. I'm your host, Demi, and this is Jasmine, and we appreciate you listening. If you're watching on YouTube, feel free to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. We're also available as a podcast wherever you get your podcasts, so be sure to leave us a five-star review and share with your fellow island lover, and we'll see you tomorrow for the Casey and the Bombshell. Bye, guys. (laughs)